this word. We glorify your name for this word. We've been waiting for this word. This word is going to be planted on the inside of me. This word, I thank you, this word is life. This word is my health. This word is my strength. I thank you that this word is planted deep on the inside of my heart. And this word is going to take root. This word is going to grow. This word is going to mature. This word is going to give me life. And I am stronger. I decree and declare that I'm stronger because of this word. I am fortified because of this word. I am healed because of this word. I am delivered because of this word. I am set free because of this word. Nothing else matters but your word. Your word is yea and amen. Your word never shifted. It always was steady. Your word never came back as a lie. It always been fulfilled. Your word will be fulfilled in our hearts and in our minds and in our bodies and in my family, in my spiritual life, in my home life. Your word will be fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. And if you believe it, give
a decade dealing with uh, our eyes, a man's sight. Amen. It was the it was the decade of I N A Y I N according to the Hebrew calendar. It was the it was uh, dealing with the decade of our eyes, meaning sight. Everybody say sight. Sight. Everybody say eyes. Eyes. Meaning God was revealing things to us through our vision. I don't know about you, but before this decade ended, I started having a lot of dreams. Are there dreamers in here? Are there people? that dream a lot. Amen? If you are a dreamer, amen, some dreams come from our flesh, some dreams come from God, but guess what? A dream is letting you know that someone is trying to communicate with you. Amen? And I believe, I don't know about you, but God, the way God speaks to me is through dreams. I started dreaming things and noticing your dreams. What are you doing? You are seeing things. Amen? You are seeing things play out. That was the whole focus and the goal of the last decade. We, we were, God was trying to reveal himself to us through a vision, through dreams. Everybody say dreams. dreams. Everybody say visions. Yeah. Amen. And now, guess what? We are in a new decade. Amen. Somebody give God some praise for seeing a new decade. There's a lot of people that weren't able to see the beginning of these new 10 years. We just finished yeah. out 10 years and we're starting another new set of 10 years. Amen. Amen. What does number 10 mean? 10 means divine order. Somebody better give God praise because we're starting a new set of 10 years. Meaning God is one that divinely puts in things in order for you. Amen. 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 Raise your hand if you want your life to be in order in this new decade. Amen. I know I do. Uh, I want my job to be in order and continue to be in order. I want my health to be in order. I want my mind to be in order. I want everything that deals with me and my family to be in order. I don't know about you, but I praise God for order. We serve a God of order. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. So we're in this new decade. 5780 through 5789. Amen. It's the year of pay. Meaning the mouth. Everybody say mouth. mouth. Everybody say word. word. Everybody say voice. voice. Everybody say expression. expression. Amen. Everything we speak. Amen. In this new decade, it's so vital that we speak what the word of the Lord says. Amen. Amen. And that's why the title of this message, the first message for this new decade, see what God reveals. It will manifest by what you say. God's going to reveal some things to you, and what he reveals to you is going to manifest by what you say. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. So you got to watch what comes out of your mouth. Are y'all hearing me? We are in a new decade of time where God is wanting to elevate us when it comes to what we say, because more than ever before, what we say will manifest. Amen. 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 But notice, what did I just say? What did the Holy Spirit just say when it comes to our biological nature? Our eyes and our mouth are connected to each other. Amen? Amen. Nine times out of ten, we speak out what we see. Are y'all hearing me? Uh -huh. That's what happens biologically. When we describe things, amen, we, we see it first and we speak it out of our mouth. Notice these past ten years, which we're, I'm, I'm switching from natural to spirit now. God was trying to align our sight. And now he's, we're in a new decade where he's aligning our mouth. Amen? Amen. Because we got to see what God reveals to us so we can speak it into existence. Amen. 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 What is the one word that kept on coming up during praise and worship? Revelation. Everybody say revelation. Revelation. Come on, God wants to reveal some things to us. He wants to reveal the deeper nature of who he is. Amen. 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 Because he knows if we have our sight in order. That means our mouths will be in order. When our sight is in alignment, our mouths will be in alignment, and we won't we won't be speaking negative word curses over our destiny. Amen. 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 Nine times out of ten, the things that did not happen in the last decade was because we spoke it. Mm. And that's something. We sabotage ourselves by this mouth. Come on. Raise your hand if you don't want to sabotage yourself in this new decade. Come on. The Israelites started, uh, started a vicious cycle in the desert because of what they said. They started complaining too much. Are y'all hearing me? They were on the brink of going to the promised land after Moses had an encounter with God. And he, God revealed to 
him, I'm about to take you to Canaan. And Moses was like, well, I don't want to go there. If your spirit's not there, he said that I will be with you. That was an open door to go to the promised land. And guess what? The Israelites started complaining. And guess what? They started traveling in a circle. They cursed themselves because of this. No matter how moisturized it was, they cursed themselves with these lips. And it caused them to go into a vicious cycle. But God is saying in this day and age right now, and I'm decreeing and declaring this over your life. My spirit is coming down. I am touching your mouth with the coal from heaven. I am purifying your word because I don't want you to spiritually sabotage yourselves in this season. Amen. He Amen. is setting us up. Isn't that powerful? Amen. We serve a God that wants to set us up. Amen. Come on. He puts everything in place. He doesn't want us to mess up. Come on. Come on. What did the prophet do when he went into the, went into the Holy of Holies? He said, man, I will, I'm surrounded by people with unclean lips. And what did God do? God said, I will cleanse your lips for you. He was setting us up. What is God doing in this season? He is setting us up. We are in the year of the mouth. Amen. Amen. He dealt with our eyes and what we see. And now he's dealing with our mouths because everything that he reveals to us, if we speak it, it will manifest. Amen. 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 Give God some praise if you believe that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Notice we move from seeing to speaking. Because we don't want to speak out of order in this season. Amen? Amen. I don't know about you, but I don't want to speak out of order. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to speak out of order this season. Amen. Meaning, I don't want to speak without understanding. Are y'all hearing me? God wants us to have full understanding this season before we speak. Raise your hand if you want full understanding of his word. Amen. Full understanding of what he's showing you. Amen. Full understanding of his direction. Amen. We want full understanding before we move. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, God, for giving me full understanding. Yes. Everybody can say full understanding. full understanding. We need to see and understand yes. before we open up our yes. mouths. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because whatever we release, we can't take back. Mm. Are y'all hearing me today? Mm. Whatever we release, we can't take back. Mm. Amen. Cool. Can we can't take, but then the word of God said his word doesn't come back null and void. Amen. So God even knew that. God set that in motion. Uh -huh. Whatever he said in his word, he has to feel. He can't, he can't even take back his own words. That's why when we say something out of line and we're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'll, I take it. It still plays in somebody's mind because that word has already been released. Uh -huh. Come on. Our words, our mouths have to be in alignment. Amen. amen. Well, where does 2020 come in? Guess what? Somebody give God some praise because God is wanting to give you 2020 vision. When it comes, he wants, to be, he wants you to have visual acuity. You have the ability to see, you have the ability to hear, and you have the ability to understand something easily. In 2020, we must walk in divine revelation. We must be able to see behind what we are actually seeing. Our spiritual eyesight that is filtered through the lens of our heart must become 2020 so that we are positioned in a place to receive the revelation that God has for us. Everybody say revelation. Revelation. On. Oh, somebody caught that. I caught that. Amen. Amen. Revelation. Uh -huh. Notice what Jesus did in the Bible. Every time he spoke, he had a divine revelation yeah. of who God was, and he was sharing it with others. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus saw the perfect picture of what God wanted to do on the earth realm. Yeah. So when he spoke, there was what? Manifestation. Yeah. Why? Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Father God, Jesus teaches how to pray. Uh, uh, and he started what giving us what? The Lord's Prayer. That was nothing but a revelation. That yes. wasn't written down anywhere. That was a revelation from heaven. Somebody raise your yes. hand if you want more divine revelation yes. from heaven like never before. Yes. Yes. Because when you have a divine revelation, you, you speak what you see. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We speak what we see. Yes. Everything that came out of Jesus' mouth, he spoke it because what Jesus saw it. Amen. He saw the five loaves and the two fish multiply. He saw it. He saw the lame man walking. He saw it. Yes. He didn't, he, you know, I'm sure he had faith. 
faith and everything like that. But it was beyond faith for Jesus. Jesus was walking faith. He saw what God wanted to manifest on this earth. Yes. Come yes. on. What does that old song say? Let the weak say, I am what? Strong. Let the poor say, I am what? Rich. Because of what the Lord has done for us. How can you sing that song in its full entirety? Why? Because you see it. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. You know, it's not like, let me just throw this out there. No, we see it. Amen. And then we see God moving. Amen. Come on with the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> when, we, when we sung that song, Waymaker, everybody told me. Amen. Every, I can feel it in my spirit. Everybody tune in this morning. Why? You begin to see what you were saying in yes. worship. You saw God as a way maker. Yes. You saw yes. God as a healer. Yes. You saw God as a mighty God. Yes. And every single one of y'all just told and to worship. Why? Because there was nothing holding you back. And guess what? You could not help but lift up your hands and close your eyes and tie into the presence of God because what you were saying in worship, yes. you perceived it with your eyes. Yes, yes. And guess what? Your body just followed along. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All your body's like, oh, we worship God. Okay. <laughs> Because we, amen, yeah. it's different when everything is alignment, amen. amen. Are y'all getting this today? Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So that's why we must operate in the written and spoken word of God. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God spoke his word. It was written later. Amen. Mm -hmm. God spoke because he saw. Mm -hmm. It wasn't written down later until thousands of years later. Amen. Hallelujah. Guess what? Amen. Well, what, what do you think? God spoke. Everything that God spoke, he saw first. And that's what he's trying to teach us. See what I am doing, my daughters. See what I am doing, my sons. See that I am working behind the scenes. Amen. See that I am a God. Of, I see that I am a Lord of the breakthrough. Call on me and I will be whatever you need me to be. In the moment you call on me, see me as your deliverer. See me as your healer. See me as your mighty strong tower. See me as your fortifier. See me as your foundation. Amen. And then when you speak it, well, wait a minute, I'm not seeking anymore? Yeah, because you saw me as your foundation. Mm. And then you just spoke it into existence. Praise God. Praise. We know that the spoken word of God is very powerful. Just as necessary as the written word of God. Amen. It forms and creates things and it sets things in motion. I'm here to prophesy over you. In this new decade, God wants to form things in your life. Amen. He wants to create things in your life. Amen. And he wants to set some things in motion. I want you to close your eyes and see things forming in your life. See things being set in motion. I want you to imagine yourself walking and thriving in God. When you seek God first and his kingdom and all these other things will be added. Why? Because your heart is steadfast on him. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When we put on the whole arm of God, I want y'all to write down Ephesians 6. It's going to be very powerful that you put on the whole arm of God. Write down Ephesians 6. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because when we put on the whole arm of God, we have the belt of truth, which is the written word of God. In the word of God, truth. Raise your hand if you know the word of God to be truth. Amen. Amen. When you activate that word of God, not only is it the sword and the spirit, but it's also the belt of truth. The belt of truth is a written word of God. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Hallelujah. And the, and the sword of the spirit is the spoken word of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. When we speak the word, guess what? Things happen. Amen. When we speak the word of God, demons tremble. When we speak the word of God with conviction in all its totality, elements obey what comes out of your mouth. Amen. We have proof of that. What does Genesis 1 and 1 say? Genesis 1 and 1 say, God said, let there be what? Light. The elements confess or the elements perform what God spoke in nothingness. Amen. Amen. There was nothing. Amen. The word, the world was formless and it was void. And Jesus saw that the world should be formed 
did have some say. What did God do? God spoke it. He Amen. spoke life into nothing and it manifest and it happened. Are you hearing me? Amen. He saw life in nothing and he spoke it forth. What is there a remnant in Nashville that's willing to look at a dead place and prophesy the dry bone and see the army coming from a dry bone? Is there a remnant in Nashville that's willing to see a dead thing as alive and speak it into existence? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Amen. That is so powerful. Yes. Sir. Amen. Turn with me to John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. John chapter 1. <laughs> are y'all are y'all being blessed today? Amen. Amen. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. When you, when you get there, say hallelujah. 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 John chapter 1. Verses 1 through 5 declares this. I'm reading from the New King James Version. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was what? With God. And the Word was God. He was the beginning with God. Amen? All things were made through Him. And without Him, nothing was made that was made. In Him was life. Everybody say life. Life. And the life was the light of men. Everybody say light. light. And when the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Light was spoken into the darkness, and the darkness could not comprehend what that light was doing. The only thing that darkness could do is what? Obey. Amen. Isn't that powerful? Amen. That darkness could not comprehend what was going on, but darkness had a sense enough to obey the light that was being spoken into it. Amen. Isn't that awesome? Amen. That's so powerful. So guess what? Every negative thing that we face or potentially negative thing, it's not going to be able to comprehend the life that comes out of your mouth. Amen? Amen. This is a year of the mouth. We have to speak the word of God. Amen. Darkness can't do nothing but obey the words that come out of your mouth. If it's aligned to the one and only true living God. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Raise your hand if you want to make a declaration that everything that comes out of my mouth will be in alignment with the word of God. Because I've got some Amen. things that need to be manifested Amen. in this new decade. Amen. And we will not be in a vicious cycle, man. Somebody give God some praise. God, I hear that in the Holy Ghost. No more vicious cycles. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 But that's why it's so important that, you know, in this decade, the spoken word of God as well as the written word of God is so crucial. We need to discern what God is revealing. Come on, somebody just make it personal, God. God, reveal yourself to me in a powerful way. God, reveal, you. reveal to me what you were doing, God. Reveal to me what you were saying. I please show me. God wants to reveal himself to you. Why does God reveal himself to you? He reveals himself to you so you can speak who he is. Amen. Isn't that what David did when he met Goliath? Yes. When David faced Goliath, a man that was towering over him, 20 times stronger than him. David did not focus on what he saw. He focused Amen. on who he saw, which was the one and only true living God. And that was the only thing that was coming out of his mouth. He was like, man, look how big Goliath is. I don't think I can slay this John. No, he kept on proclaiming, my God is greater. My God is powerful. My God is holy. My God is awesome. That's what, we, that's what kept on coming out of his mouth. Why? Because that's what all David saw. Amen. The source of his power. Amen. Amen. That's all that came out of his mouth. Mm -hmm. David was bold with it. Who are you, you uncircumcised Philistine? My God is about to tear you. Come on, come on. That's how we need to be in the ear of the mouth. Amen. 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 Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our words must be full of wisdom this year. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Mm -hmm. God is saying our words must be full of wisdom this year. How do we get that? When we come in contact with the revelation. Everybody say see. See. Everybody say say. See. Amen. We must see what God is revealing in its entirety. 
so that we can say it and it'll manifest. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Turn with me to Proverbs 10 and 19. This is so very powerful right here. Amen. I hope you're being blessed today. Amen. I am almost done. Amen. Stay with me. It says in Proverbs 10 and 19, when there are many words, transgression is unavoidable. But he who reframes his lips is wise. Proverbs 10 and 19. When, we, when there are many words, transgression is unavoidable. Isn't that something? Yeah. But he who reframes his or her lips is wise. Meaning we, we got to wait to, we got to wait to see what God is saying. Are y'all hearing me today? Yeah. We got to wait to see what God is revealing. God wants to reveal before we speak. Amen. Yeah. What do you think Jesus was doing in the desert? Jesus was what? God was revealing himself. Amen. And then when Jesus came out the wilderness, he started what speaking what the word of the Lord was saying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody turn with me to Proverbs 31 and 26. Proverbs 31 and 26. It says, She speaks with wisdom, and faithful instruction is on her tongue. So if you speak the revelation of God, guess what? Faithful instruction is on your tongue. Amen? Amen. In, in meaning the Holy Spirit is going to lead you and guide you. I just read Proverbs 31 and 26. She speaks with wisdom. Amen? Everybody Amen. say wisdom. 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 And faithful instruction is on her tongue. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How do we get the instruction? What the Holy Spirit showed me, that's revelation. When we spend time with God and God reveals himself to us, guess what? That's, that's instruction right there. Amen? When we get revelation from God, we, uh, we get instruction on what God wants us to do. Amen? Hallelujah. 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 Everybody turn to Proverbs 17. Proverbs 17, verses 27 through 28. Proverbs 17, verses 27 through 28. This is what the word of the Lord declares in Proverbs 17, verses 27 through 28. Who, he who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. And that some, raise your hand if you want to have a calm spirit in this decade. Amen. Come on. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. Wow. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Just goes to show you how powerful it is to speak with wisdom. It says, even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. Isn't that something? Amen. Amen. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Amen. Hallelujah. Tell your, tell your neighbor, watch your words. Watch your words. Amen. And come on. We gotta tell your other neighbor, we got to speak with wisdom. We got to speak with wisdom. We got to speak with wisdom. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs 12, 18 through 19. Proverbs 12, 18 through 19 declares this. There is one who speaks like the piercings of a sword. But the tongue of the wise promotes health. Come on, raise your hand if you want to promote health in this new decade. Come yeah. on. Hallelujah. The truthful lip shall be established forever, but the lying tongue is but for a moment. Come on, raise your hand if you want to speak in truth. Man. Come on, man. you're good. <laughs> you know, when we speak in truth, guess what? It establishes us Forever, raise your hand if you want to be established all throughout this new decade for the next 10 years. The next 10 years is going to be the best 10 years of your life. Amen. Why? Because your mouth is being aligned with the word of God. Your mouth is being aligned with his spirit. Amen. Somebody give God some praise because these next 10 years are going to be awesome. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. And this is, this is why I believe that David was with, always caught God's attention. Psalms 19 and 14 declares, let the words of my mouth 
and the meditation of my heart. This is a very familiar scripture. Be acceptable in your sight. Oh, Lord, my strength, my what? My redeemer. Amen. Isn't that something? Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. How can the words of your mouth be acceptable in the sight of God? Let it be aligned with what he reveals in his word. Come on. Amen. The Bible says that God is looking to and fro. Who is willing to speak my word so I can manifest it here on the earth realm? Come on, everybody say, God, I'm here, right here. Just wave them now. Holy Spirit, I'm here. I know you're looking. I know this is the year of the mouth. This is the decade of the mouth. These next 10 years, starting tomorrow, starting right now, you can use me to manifest your word on this earth realm. Because I've got some family members that need to be saved. I've got some loved ones that need to come to the Lord. This nation needs to run back to you. This generation needs to find you. Your spirit needs to reside on my job. I will speak it into existence. Man. Everybody say, use me, God. Use me, God. I'm right here. I'm right here. He's looking. Amen. Who can I use to speak this word? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is the catalyst scripture right here. And this is going to blow your mind. Everybody turn with me to Ephesians chapter 1, verses 17 through 23. Ephesians 1, 17 through 23. Because see, God wants to open the eyes of our hearts. This is how we get wisdom. <laughs> Y'all remember that old sign, song, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Open the eyes of my heart. So that I can see you come on. That's it. Come on. When we see God, we see we speak nothing but God. Isn't that what David did? Amen. He didn't see the giant. He saw God. Oh. And everything that came out of his mouth in front of the giant was in alignment to what God was doing. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Didn't that blow your mind? Yes. Hallelujah. Now this is a, now somebody gonna end up running around here doing the cartwheel, nay, nay, whatever. Somebody gonna get excited. Because I got excited. And if it's not outwardly, it's definitely inwardly. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. This is what Ephesians chapter 1, 17 through 23 declares. Hallelujah. In closing. This is going to blow your mind. You ready, Dad? Amen. Uh, come on. Come on. It's gonna, Amen. This is going to be powerful right here. God wants us to open, wants to open the eyes of our hearts. Amen. You know, because it all starts with the heart. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the what? The mouth speaks. So if our heart becomes open to who God is, our heart becomes filled with nothing but his word, and everything that comes out of our mouth will be nothing but the word of God. Come on. Amen. And this is what it says here. Uh, and I'm reading from the Amplified here. I always pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may grant you a spirit of wisdom and of revelation. Raise your hand if you want a spirit of wisdom and of revelation. Yes, that gives you a deep and personal and intimate insight. Everybody say insight. Into the true knowledge of him. Who are they talking about? We know as the Father through the Son. Are y'all hearing me? Verse 18. Somebody highlight, underline, whatever in verse 18. And I pray that the eyes of your heart, the very center and core of your being, may be enlightened. Everybody say enlightened. enlightened. Flooded with the light by the Holy Spirit. Amen? So that you will know and cherish the hope, the divine guarantee, the confident expectation to which he has called you. Come on, somebody raise their hand. God is calling you for this time and this season. He wants to open up the eyes of your heart so that you may be enlightened and you will walk through this new decade with confidence, with a guarantee that God has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints, which is God's people. Raise your hand if you're a child of God, you're a son of God, you're a daughter of God. That is the promise. Everybody say promise. Promise. And verse 19 says this, and so that you will begin to know 
that the air immeasurable and unlimited and surpassing greatness of his active spiritual power is in us who believe. Raise your hand if you want the power of God to reside on the inside of you. Amen? So that you will know when God opens up the eyes of your heart, you will know that nothing but the power of God resides on the inside of you. And when you know that nothing but the power of God resides on the inside of you, you begin to speak the power of God that's on the inside of you. And after you speak the power of God that's on the inside of you, it begins to manifest all around you. You start seeing miracles, signs, and wonders in this new decade. Somebody he can use the merits of work in this earth realm. Are y'all hearing me? All you teachers out there, speak the power of God that's on the inside of you, and you'll see your classroom change. You'll see schools change. You'll see your family change. You'll see your finances change. Why? Because we're seeking him first. Glory to God. We're seeking his kingdom. Glory. And everything shall be what? Added. Added. Somebody give God some praise. are in accordance with the working of his mighty strength which he produced in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. 21 So far above all rule and authority and power and dominion whether angelic or human and far above every name that is named Amen. above every title that not only is in this age, but in the world that also is the one to come. Amen. You need to tell me there's a power on the inside of us that is above every name. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Above every situation, above every storm, above every circumstance. Why? Because we're walking in power and authority. Amen. Amen. Come on. Everybody said power and authority. Hallelujah. Everybody, please stand in closing. Come on, lift up your hands. And he put all things in every realm under subjection, under Jesus' feet. Everybody say subjection. I want y'all to march in place. March in place. March in place. Come on, march in place. Come on, God is putting everything under your feet. Amen. When, we, when what we say is in alignment with the word of God, everything that is not like God will be under subjection. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. I want y'all to imagine yourself moving forward. I want y'all to imagine yourself walking taller. I want you to imagine yourself operating in full joy. I'm prophesying right now. God is wanting you to operate in more joy. No more sadness. No more depression. No more hurts. Are y'all hearing me? That is a subjected under the feet of Jesus. That is subjected under your feet. No more pain. Amen. It's time for you to speak. Everybody say speak. God is removing spiritual cataracts. Somebody lift up their hands to the Lord. God is removing spiritual cataracts. Do you know what cataracts is? That means your lens uh, is forming a clouding substance and it causes blindness because of injury or old age. I'm here to tell you, some of y'all have been injured uh, spiritually in 2019, but God is saying, I have brought you to 2020 because all spiritual injuries have been healed and I am removing the cataracts, thus saith the Lord. I need you to receive what I am revealing so that you can speak what I am revealing so that what you speak in alignment to my word will be manifested here in the earth realm. Somebody give God some praise. Come on, he's removing the cataracts. Amen. Yes, God. He's removing the cataracts. Hallelujah. He's removing that spiritual fail. Yes. What do you think Jesus did when Jesus ascended into heaven? What did the veil do? The veil torn in two. Meaning we have total access to God. Yeah. Meaning whatever veil Satan has been trying to put over your eyes, God is saying, I tore it in two because I need you to see what I'm So that 
will manifest when you see. Yes. yes. See what God will do. Yes, God. He's real. So that it can manifest when you see. Yes, yes. 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 See what God reveals. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. So that you can manifest what God is saying. Yes. Oh, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you, God. Does anybody need prayer? Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. God wants to set your trajectory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the year 5780. Thank you, God. I would not refuse any prayer. Amen. If you need prayer, come on up. I would like the touch of the